Hi, this is Robert. I'm testing uh, a power supply today. I ordered this uh, evaluation board. It's a little power supply from uh, TI. It's a Texas instrument and it's an evaluation module, I guess. And let's see, the model number is TPS 55340EVN 148. And it looks like it's a zero I'm sorry input voltage is uh, I believe 8 to 24 volts and the output voltage is uh, 5 volts at 2.5 amps so this is the input and that is the output so the input I have it connected to my uh, power supply I have it at 12 volts and then right here I have my electronic load it's supposed to be 5 volts but if you notice it says 4.64 volts it's actually because of the wire uh, the voltage drop across this is uh, quite a bit so by the time it gets uh, actually you have 5 volts here but by the time it gets to the electronic load it's at 4.64 but anyway I'm pulling 2.5 amps now, what I'm going to do today, as far as testing is concerned, I'm using what is called the Venable uh, Frequency Response Analyzer. And I'll explain this in a little bit. Uh, the Frequency Response Analyzer is this piece of equipment, which is here, and it's hooked up to this computer. Okay, and basically, uh, this is the Venable. The model is uh, 32, 35. I think this cost us. Uh, it costs at least 30, 30 to 35k. Okay. Basically, it's an oscillator. You got the oscillator coming out in that jack, and then you have channel one, channel two. So it's kind of like a scope. And those wires or cables are routed into this injection box. The oscillator comes in here. You have uh, channel one, no, channel two, and channel three. Now this box, if I turn it around, yeah, yeah. Turn this around. Okay, basically, it's an injection transformer, and it's got a little cap, and I believe the primary reads about the one. Uh, one millihendry, uh, if I might be incorrect, and uh, basically it's a step down, and then you have these terminals. So if you notice, okay, that connection goes through there and comes out through here, and this this connection to the scope or the input goes through here and goes here so between both channel 1 and 2 you're coupling the signal or the sine wave signal okay so anyway you have these two these three wires okay those are connected across two test points which are these here these two okay and in there, there is a, I believe, can be anywhere from 10 ohm to 100 ohm, and I typically call it a venable resistor. It's a sampling resistor. So what happens is the signal uh, from the transformer gets coupled across the, the the resistor and it develops a little perturbation. So it's a small signal uh, that is injected. So at the same time, while you you're connected there. You're connected uh, channel one and channel two of the input of the FRA are connected. So basically, what you want to do is uh, we're going to take a, a measurement of the stability of the power supply. So we bring up the the venable, and then we can go to analyzer control. Okay, and I'm telling it to sweep from 25 hertz 
stop frequency of 250 kilohertz and it's long sweep and I want 10 steps per decade okay and then the other thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that uh, you drive it with a low enough signal so right now I'm putting 50 millivolts AC peak okay so then I can go ahead and press run and to speed this up a little bit I'll switch I'll switch it to medium. So now it's taking data. And this is the frequency response of so the gain and phase response of the of the power supply. Now mind you on the specification data sheet that they advertise they have the bandwidth uh, which I call crossover frequency they have it at a much higher frequency than what I measure so it's always a good thing don't don't take the data sheet as truth verify in this case I verified it and uh, turns out that the bandwidth that they publish and the bandwidth that I am measuring are totally different It's almost over, and I believe it's done. Okay, so I'll go ahead and close that. So now let's go ahead and take some measurements. Click on that. Let's get some little cursors. And if I press a little button, it says get unity crossing, which measures that point. So that's the bandwidth. So in here, I'm not sure if it's it. You can see it. It says 50, 54, 54.9 hertz. So this is 25, 30, 40. So it's 53. That's the bandwidth. That's what I would call the crossover frequency. Now, if you look up, that would be the phase margin. So the phase margin, if you notice, it's 90 degrees. And if you can also get that measurement right here where it says 90 degrees. Okay. The other thing that you want to check is what is your gain margin? Gain margin is defined where the phase crosses at zero. Then what you do, you go down and see where your gain crosses. Okay. So in this case, crosses about right there. So it crosses a frequency of 9.3 kilohertz. But the phase margin, or the gain margin, is negative 54 dB, which is pretty good meaning that that's, that's the gain when the frequency or the phase is zero the, your margin is negative 54 so you have quite a bit of attenuation so what does this tell you? well it tells you that this is a very very stable uh, unit uh, it should not have any instability the problem is that since you have such a low bandwidth you have very slow response so if you have a output uh, increasing or decreasing current, it takes a longer time to respond. Uh, in this case, you have a lot of margin. You, they could have made the bandwidth. They could have gone all the way up to, let's say, uh, 100 kilohertz. No, no, 1 kilohertz. So if that's the case, you would have still had uh, quite a bit of phase margin. As a matter of fact, they could have gone all the way to at least 60 degrees which is right there okay which is two three four they could have made it a four kilohertz and you would have had a much much better uh, 
response uh, response toward uh, transient. Anyway, this is how you do a what I call a venable plot. It's really a gain in phase, but uh, it just tells you the stability of the power supply. If you have any questions, uh, email me or post your questions in the EEB blog. Thank you for watching.